Maga. You promised if he captured the daughter of the queen. Nothing doing. If Barula wants those 20 rifles, he's going to have to make that girl talk first. Tell him that. Sambla, Tambuko Yokoa. Oku. Ruanemboro. Tulukumi. Mangnetu, mangnetu. Kumi. Tetu, tetu. Where's the treasure hidden? Your mother's the queen, and you must know where it is. It's not true, you're wrong. The Queen never talked to me about it. That's the truth. Zetaka, Tuanakote, Karibwe. the truth. Don't forget, it was you who told us that girl knew everything about the treasure. We gotta get our hands on those yellow stones. Mm. She knows nothing about it. Shibamba, in Kotol, Unga, Pete, Umba, Leilomba. 
You don't know what this little thing can do. Why, if this rifle hits your king of the jungle, he's finished. Give you those 20 rifles, you'll be the only king around here. Now, this is a weapon that puts fear in the enemy. Now, show us the treasure of the Amazon. Listen, old man, do you want to keep your promise or do you want to die, huh? You're too afraid of the king of the jungle. Cthulhu is a great shot. Go on, let's see what you can do. Wanga, Wanga, Cthulhu! What did I tell you, huh? Think you can make it? I'll make it. Good. show you the way. No. I know the way there. She's thirsty. Bring some water. Why did they do this to her? Two white men played Barula for your secret. Irula doesn't know the secret of the Yellowstone. She won't know as long as I live. But you've always helped us, protected us. And if I should die, then... I would like you to know the Amazon's secret. In front of the rocks at the bottom of the river, there's an entrance to a cave. If you should go there someday, you must know that... Ah! Go and fetch many roots of nopal and make it as quick as you can. Right away. I want to heal her, Queen. I'm willing you should stay beside her and help her to heal. If that is what you desire, Zan. <laughs> Thank you. I know you've saved my life. I feel very quickly, thanks, of course, to you. Our children live beyond the bend in the river. I reign over many subjects. And you? I have no subjects, but only friends. The animals. I'm king of the jungle. Come. Thousands 
hundreds of years ago, when we Amazons immigrated to this land, we divided into many villages. Since then, nothing's changed. The village I like most is the village of love. Let's go there together. Oh, but we're still far away from the love season. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Hirula! Go, Aga. Go. Must you go back to your friend? This is Zan, a parrot like you. I never heard of him before. What do you want me to do? You must be crazy. Ah, oh, you've just been drinking a lot. Follow me! Come on! Oh, well, Zan is hurt! Hey, where are you taking us? What do you think I am? I'm a prospector, not an animal doctor. Listen to me, all of you! Go to the kids on! 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 Go
quick shot. I never miss with this weapon of the white man, Kodula Shatsan, and killed him. Kobaka! Kobaka! I'd take care of you. One. Just one bottle of whiskey's left. young as you are. I just can't make it anymore. Why don't you go back to your country? <sighs> to do what? Do you know how many years I've been digging here? Over 30 years. But I'm not going to leave this land with two empty hands. I've spent a lifetime here and I'm not leaving here until I've done found what I'm looking for. What's that? A bunch of yellow pebbles, my friend. <laughs> I guess you don't understand. I did what you said. I've killed the king of the jungle. What did I tell you? It worked, didn't it? Here's to our treasure. We're not afraid anymore. I guess we can go now. Ah, he's a smart one. All right, you shut the beak. You give me bad luck. Ah. How many? Ah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Plays now. Well, two of you know. Don't worry, he's bluffing. Double it, double it, double it. <laughs> if you listen to that bird, you'll end up by losing all your feathers. See, ya. what do you have? Where's that lousy parrot come from? Las Vegas, Nevada? <laughs> well, I'm going to take a little nap now. Is 
Is that your daughter? What's her name? Mary. Her eyes are not sad like yours. They'll get to be sad when she becomes old and battered like a father. Miss Sullivan. Can I help you? Oh, that's so kind of you. It seems they want ten shillings. Give me five and I'll take care of it. Quite a lot of baggage, huh? Yes, I... Gomuri! Here. Another shilling. Here. Matitangale. I'll accompany you to the hotel. Hmm? Thank you. It'll be a big surprise for my father. Mm -hmm. Are you staying here long? I hope so. I see. Well, for a vacation, it's not an ideal spot. But with the hot climate and the sun beating down. Don't worry. I think I'll survive. Besides, a white woman, young like you, needs protection. I'll talk to the chief of police. Isn't that dangerous? Take him up. I hope you'll be satisfied. I've given you room 12, the very best I have. I keep it reserved for important people. You're the proprietor also? Yes, I am. Oh, and if everything isn't all right... I'm sure everything will be. You can depend on it. This is the best rat hole around here. I'll bet it's the only one. But full of surprises. <laughs> Hurt you? <laughs> Come on, love. Come on. <laughs> we keep these snakes in the rooms to catch mice. They're not poisonous. Take it out. I'm the chief of police. I'm sorry, but you can't hide anything from me, you know. Under the circumstances, please go. No. I want you to leave immediately. Well, you see, my job's an ungrateful one, but I must carry it out completely, even if I prefer otherwise. Your passport's in order, but I'm afraid that legal authorization is not enough. However, if someone might offer to guarantee for the lady... You mean if the proprietor of the hotel gives me a guarantee, everything is in order? You refer to that handsome man with the mustache? Oh, it might very well be that. But the chief of police has more influence than he has. Or the mayor, who's the most important one. That is always me. Who do you think you're fooling? I came here to find my father and take him back. He's in the jungle. What makes you think you can find him by yourself, my girl? Do you know someone who might act as my guide? Uh, there's Bill who lives here. Or even Julius. Or maybe even I could do it. Ah, uh, it's good old New York. I want to know from you. Are you willing to work as a guide? <laughs> Answer. 
Answer me. Are you willing to take okay. me to my father? Okay, all right. Okay, I'm willing. I'll do it on one condition only. Is this. I go as your guide. And you bring me back to New York. Okay. Just a minute. Let me finish. I want to make it plain. I want 5,000 bucks. You must be crazy. I'll give you 5,000 dollars. <laughs> Take it easy. I'll find it out there. Any of the others. You see, there's only me. <laughs> Feel better now? Yes, I'm all right. Good. I was, uh... Sorry. I live here. If you should need anything at any moment, why, please don't uh, hesitate to call on me. Thank you. Even today, there's nothing. Nothing but sand, not even a pebble or part of one. Well, I guess even gold has its likes and dislikes. I guess it must dislike me. I've been looking for a lifetime. Nothing. But I'm determined to find that gold before I die. Not for what it's worth, but for the satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess it's all a dream. What are you playing? My strength has come. I must leave you now. Go, oh, my son. I'll miss you, though. But I understand. Miss Sullivan? Goodbye. Just a minute. Wait a minute. I was rude to you yesterday, and I'm sorry. It's a bad habit of mine. I had to drink too many. Let's forget it. You'll be my guide? Hmm. Because of the price. Well, no, not because of the price. Why, then? Because you can't count on me. You see, I'm an alcoholic. I don't know why. But I have faith in you. I'm sure you wouldn't disappoint me. <clears throat> Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. I dreamt of snakes crawling all around you. Heads or tails? Tails. Just a minute. Before I uncover the coin, let me give you a piece of advice, Miss Sullivan. Don't engage us drunkard as a guide. It'd be a disaster for you. I say it for your own benefit. Come along with me. Get out. Just as you wish, miss. She's yours, Bill. I leave her to you. You know what I want to do with this here piece of money? <laughs> Buy a drink. Wait here. Ah, watch out for the siren!
present for my friend. stones and I brought them. Thanks.
the drinks are on me. Come on! Tom! Tom! Come on, everybody. The drinks are on me. Now, I always told you I'd make a fortune. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? This is gold, pure gold. I made it. <laughs> I'm rich, Tom. It's gold. Gold! And this is pure gold. That's all mine. And this is nothing! <laughs> stop! Stop! Pretty uh, yeah. 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 I said to myself, now's the time to help your friend. Tell me something, Bill. Do you still need that $5,000? Huh. Now more than ever. Good. Well, then, uh, act as guide for the girl as she asked you, uh, win her confidence, and then uh, keep me constantly informed about things. But if that's all... If that's all, $10,000 is enough. <laughs> Bill, you sure know how to be funny. <laughs> I think I'm a generous guy, so we won't quibble over it, huh? <laughs> but only on the condition that there be no violence either against old Red or against his daughter. Hmm? Is that word good enough, or do you want it in writing? <laughs> Hello? Am I dreaming? Uh, Mary. Good morning, Papa. I'm not leaving you from now on. 
It's time for us to go. You mean to Philadelphia? Yes, home again. All right, Mary. When? All right. Very soon. Very soon now, Mary. Within a week. Two weeks at the most. Just the time I need to settle a deal. Don't think about money anymore. You see, I've brought my savings to take care of us. <laughs> Are you worrying about taking care of your old man? <laughs> I'm talking to you seriously, Pa. I love you. I'm your daughter. It's my duty to take care of my own father. <laughs> and what if my creditors won't let me leave? <laughs> I'll manage to take care of all the creditors. How much is it? <laughs> All together, it's a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> no, no debt. A lot of money and a pile of pure gold. Back home I go with my darling daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this, little one. Your papa is no longer a failure. He's Ford Morgan Rockefeller. Roll into one. I'm filthy rich. I got gold, and soon I'll have a ton of it. <laughs> you haven't changed. When you're drunk, you make a big story. My mind is as clear as crystal, and I've never been so sober as I am at this very moment, Mary. Will you tell me what you're trying to say? You mean you want to stay here? No, no, no. Just a trek to the jungle, but just for a few days. To do what? Now, try to understand me, Mary. Use your brain and try to reason. Gold. Pebbles as big as coconuts. I'm afraid to let you go. You need a little rest. You're not well. What are you talking about? I'm as fit as an athlete. I'm as strong as a roaring lion. <laughs> My princess. Papa, I'm almost beginning to take you seriously. Oh. <laughs> you just wait, Mary. You will have everything. Jewels. With my gold, I'll buy the whole world. <laughs> what are you doing here? We're waiting for you. Yeah, for what reason? We'd like to talk to you about something. Come along, my friend. You forgotten how we had a drink together? Uh, I'm not your friend. What do you want? Just a bit of information. If I can help you. Don't figure how. Well... Start telling us where you got the gold. What gold? Your gold. It's in the haversack. You want to check it? It's all there. Don't be scared. We're honest people. Now, where'd you get that gold, mister? I got no reason to tell you. Oh, yeah? Better for you if you spill it, friend. I got it as a present. No! Only a fool would believe it. I guess he's not going to talk. He'll talk. It'd be better for you if you decided to talk and tell us the honest truth. Otherwise, I'll fill you with lead. Said the gold was given you as a present. Who from? From Zan. You're a lion. Tell me. I swear it. If you want to know, he's been killed. He's alive. They tried to kill Zan. It's true. He was only wounded. Shoulder wound. Are you telling the truth? I took care of Zan. He wanted to repay me with gold. Where'd he get the gold? I don't know. I swear it. I'll take your word for it. I was a little violent. I'm sorry. When I want the truth, I lose all reason. And lies help to restore my reason. Oh! Oh! Yes, are you crazy? Now what do we do? You suppose it's enough? No, Robert, it's not enough. I'll get there in some other way. We must use the help of the natives. At all costs.
mercy. You deserve no mercy, but I'll spare you. Your people must keep peace with the Amazons. The Amazons are my friends. They're my friends, too. It's the white men. They are evil. And they want war. Go bring me my message. Now get up and go. Uh-huh. Listen. Zen is alive. He is immortal and cannot die. I shot him with the rifle, but I was not able to kill him. He wants the Amazons to be left in peace. Or he will punish us all. He spared my life to prove he feels no hatred for our people. You must believe me. It is true. Kotula has told the truth. Zan is alive. He's immortal. He cannot die. He's the king of the That's jungle. That's enough. Damned imbecile. You put those bullets in his head, he'd be dead. What is she she asked for peace with the Amazon, and Zen has ordered. <laughs> now listen to me. You're all scared of a man who does nothing but yell. Zen is not a mortal. He's alive because Catula didn't know how to use the weapon. No. No, I shot him. Idiot, you only wounded him. He didn't die and come back to life. He's no god. I'll make him die. Come on, old man. Don't be afraid. We'll take care of Zan by ourselves. Now, give orders to attack the Amazon. Zambayela, Konda Sagara. Katayuba, Mambuata. I need your aid to command wisely. Come on, keep moving. Gwenda. Gwenda, Gwenda, Gwenda Casale. Let them assemble at the shallows. We'll go up the river for a bit. Go on. We'll take the canoes and leave them at the rapids. Come on, come on. Keep the men moving. We've got to make good time. It'll be a big surprise. Kazuruda! Kazuruda, you pull me a window! Come on! Come on! stopping here for? They're afraid. This is Zen's territory. They don't want to go any further. If they 
no move till you end up like their friend now. Come on. Zanga! Zanga Ali! To you, O Queen, we entrust the key of our power. I will hold it with honor as my mother did. I shall defend unto death the great valor and the secret of the Amazons. This I solemnly swear. The Amazons are celebrating the coronation of their new queen. That's just what we need. It's a good moment. Now we can attack them. Let's go. Come on. Keep moving. Come on. Come on. Kill me, it's a secret I'll never reveal to men. No, no, not the queen. I'll tell you, but don't touch her. Come on, talk. I don't know. Silence. Silence. The queen, I won't say anything. <laughs> you 
kind of stubborn, aren't you? Watch her. I think this will help loosen her tongue a bit. That'll work. I know nothing. It's impossible to tell you. Impossible. This time we have it. It's a map of a cave under the river. No! No! Ah! Let's go. And what if the gold isn't there? Suppose they're only trying to deceive us. Her life is our best guarantee, Bob. Let's go. Excuse me, will you? I'll be right with you, all right? Thanks. Now, was that what you were saying? I didn't hear you. That my father hasn't returned, and that I'm very worried about it. Okay. I'm willing to go. However, we'll need a little bit of money for expenses. Got any? Five hundred. <laughs> that isn't very much, is it? That'll be enough, I hope. Don't worry about it, though. We'll go in and get him and bring him out. Here they are. I'm sorry I haven't any more. Do you think we'll make it all right? I think so. And now to work.
Hey, Rula. Zen. seen your face before. In the white man's hat. You're Red's daughter. Do you know where he is? I have bad news. Two white men killed him in front of his hut. Oh, uh, uh, no! They were looking for the yellow stones. Uh, Worms. Uh, They'll pay for this. I buried him at the spot where he was killed. Do you know who they are, Bill? No. I'll find them myself. I'll help you find them. Where do you think they've gone? They cannot be very far away. No use taking any risks anymore. Now let me decide that. That's my business. Tell me exactly in what direction I can find Red's hut. I'll get there somehow. It's here. These are the rocks.
You see this? It's gold. Come on. Get out of there. Get him out. This is gold or rich. Get off those socks. Come on. <laughs> We're rich. Get him out. I'm not a dog on a leash. Where are we going? Otherwise, I'm going to go back to town. Go back? Wait a minute. I'm worried about you and the risks you're going to be taking, you see. These men murdered my father, and I'm afraid they'll kill you, too. Stop worrying about me. Don't you realize the only thing that interests me about this is the money? You don't know it, but these men owe me $10,000. So you were in cahoots with them? Not to murder your father, but only to find out where the hell that gold mine was located. Is that clear to you? Now, Mary, you can do whatever you like. I don't believe you.
Be disappointed. You stay here. Ah, Julius. This is really a case of giving a helping hand to a friend, huh? It's true, it's true. I'm about to finish the job. Didn't we agree on a certain sum of money? If you help me now, you can earn. Much more. That's so. What do you got to offer me? Dollars? Go on, I'm still up for sale. I'm listening. Will you do anything for a bit of gold? Yeah. Why should that shock you? <laughs> You're no better than me. If you help me get away with this gold, a third of it's yours. <laughs> Good boy. Julius. Don't ask any questions. We made a deal. Let's go. We can't waste any time. Come on. All set? All set. All right. Come on up. What do you say if we toss a coin, huh, Billy Boy? Okay. Heads. <laughs> Tails. It's yours. Take it. <coughs> don't move. I say don't move. Now, we made a deal. No violence. You murdered Red. By rights, the gold's Mary's. Bill, the canoe! Bill! <laughs> Bill! Don't do anything silly or I'll kill her. Don't Never worry about me, Bill. fall in love, me, my Bill. boy. That's how you lose golden opportunities. Drop that rifle. You win. <laughs> so long, lovebirds. Hope you have a nice honeymoon. Ha, ha, ha. 
If only I could find $20,000 for you. What? Now it's you that wants the money, huh? Didn't you want to return to New York? Of course, but, well, it's not all that bad here. Then again, if we went back there together, I might... It's a gift for you, my friends. Goodbye and good luck. Bill, it's gold! It's gold! <laughs> 